What a great day it is. How many of you graduated valedictorian of your class? Can I see your hands? Anybody in here valedictorian? I am at the only person in this room who graduated valedictorian of my class, therefore that automatically qualifies me to be in front of you, right? I mean, after all, there were uh, six of us in my class, but that's strictly <laughs> beside the point. You know, you really know you're from a really small town when to be in the top 10%, you have to be number one. <laughs> I'll explain them that to you later. <laughs> I'm Victorian, I can do that. <laughs> January 19th, 2015. An amazing day. The day was beautiful. High that, the high temperature that day was supposed to be 72 degrees, the low that night, 39 degrees. A day in January in West Texas that was absolutely picture perfect. I had a couple of conference calls that morning. I was at my desk while making those calls, and in between, I called my dad on the farm, and I said, hey, Dad, what are you doing today? He gave me the list of what he was doing. I said, as soon as I'm done, I'm out the door. This day was way too pretty for a farm boy like me to be inside. Finished up my last call, and I headed to the farm, 45 minutes right into New Mexico. We knocked it out of the park that day. We got so much stuff accomplished. It was just one of those days that you're just like, man, this, we are checking it off. It was a, a phenomenal day. The last thing we did is we pulled back up to the house. Uh, Dad uh, said, why don't you turn that tractor around and let's work on the back end of that tractor. I begrudgingly said yes, because at that point in the time I was done. I was ready to head back to the house. But you know, you don't say no to your daddy, right? So I turned the tractor around, right, back up in front of the shop. We started to work. Climbed upon the back end of that tractor, and uh, there's a. If you don't know agriculture, it's okay. There's there's two pieces of uh, of equipment that we were using to work on this tractor. One's called a pipe wrench, which you may be familiar with. The other is called a cheater bar. Now I'm going to tell you something. If you're using a device that's called a cheater bar, you probably should be careful. <laughs> I'm up on the back end of that tractor. I'm standing on the cheater bar trying to break this thing loose that won't adjust. My dad's on the ground and he's moving it from one side to the other so we can try. We're inching it this way. We're inching it that way. And in a little bit, the pipe wrench comes off and I fall. I fell doing something we've done a hundred times. We do it multiple times every year. At this time when I fell, there was a piece of metal sticking up in the air, and I, when I fell, it went into the top of my leg. I instantly hollered out something that I have apologized profusely for to the good Lord of above. <laughs> <laughs> my dad had to take his hands, put underneath me, lift me up and off of the thing that I, the piece of metal that was in me, lift me up off of it, get me to the ground. We got me over in front of the shop. He's holding it. I'm, Blood's going everywhere. We're, we're both panicking, right? There's a stool that sits about this tall. It's been in the shop since I was a little kid. And I said, get me over to that stool. And I said, and go get some clean red rags so I can sit on those. That'll help stop the bleeding. Because if you have an open wound, the first thing you need is clean red rags. <laughs> Dad goes and gets shop rags, gets out there. He's going to head to the house to get my stepmom because from the farm... To the hospital is 31 miles, so by the time you call the ambulance and they get there, it'd be quicker if we could just get me in their vehicle and get me to town. He and my stepmom finally come back out there. Well, before they even got out there, too, I'm sitting on this stool and I'm thinking to myself, you know what, I've never passed out before, but these little lights at the top of my eyeballs, I think that's what's about to happen. <laughs> and I pass out. When I woke up, I tried moving, and I could feel two bones moving around in my lower part of my leg, and so I know my leg's broken, and in a little bit, my dad and stepmom get out there, and they're trying to help me get up, and I, my dad's one of those guys, you could have a ruptured aorta. You, your aorta could be shooting blood out of your body, and dad would look at you like, put some camphophonic on it. You'd be all right. <laughs> I'm like, dad, my leg's broke too, and he goes, maybe it's just sprained. I'm like, I can feel the bones moving around. He goes, okay, okay, okay. At this point, I'm going into shock. They, we, we can't get me up. They, they finally would cover me up, give me some blankets, and they call 911. The ambulance gets there. First lady on the scene's known me my entire life. She's known me since the day I was born. Only lives three miles from the farm. First thing she does when she pulls up as a paramedic, she says, Matt, I need to see, I need to look at the wound. So she raises the blankets up, and the first words out of her mouth were, oh my gosh! I'm like, Jerry, you're not supposed to say that to the victim here. <laughs> She gets me to the hospital, the doctor inspects it, and the first thing the doctor says was, it's not that bad, we can fix it. 
There's huge relief comes over me. Mm. And he said, actually, it went in at a perfect spot because where it went in is mostly fat, to which I replied, shut up, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't laugh. And he said, actually, if it had been an inch in a different direction, it would have hit your femoral artery and you'd have bled out in 10 minutes. Wow. Wow. And it was at that point in time I thought to myself, what have I done to earn the inch that I was just given? But more importantly, what am I going to do to earn the inch that I've been given? Wow. And how many times in our lives have we all been that close to dying, but we were given another inch? And quite frankly, though, every time the sun comes up on a new day, aren't we given another inch? What are you going to do with it? How are you going to use it? How are you going to live your inch? Thank you very much. Mm. Wow. <laughs>